So now it's disassembled. So this goes up, the servo is engaged, the servo disengaged, now it just does the disassembly move. The servo re-engaged, that's the up movement. Hello, this is Philip, and this is an update for the LEGO testing machine number two. First thing is the front leg assembly changed. Uh, initially I moved it uh, back to make space for a new uh, uh, older system here to hold the motor. But uh, then it turned into a, that whole thing where this long leg here replaced the whole uh, legs, the, the two legs that were made out of LEGO. Uh, bricks like this. The side holders, those two bars here, they were much longer and there was no need for that. Actually I still can shorten them by uh, maybe two so uh, I might change that again, make that a little bit shorter. I uh, did this little thing here, I put a uh, servo and I made this bracket. Uh, basically what I did is I created a little template out of paper and uh, I used uh, like a styrene uh, sheet and cut a couple of uh, uh, things and I, I broke a couple actually this one is, is broken here but it's good enough there's enough uh, um, strength to it so it's doing the job right now and uh, I'm very lucky because the thickness of my styrene is exactly uh, the right thickness to fit with uh, those little pins. Uh, this servo prevents the arm from going up uh, this way by just going like this. So I'm going to try to do it so it goes like that. I'm going to demonstrate it later. So it's nice. It's a, This is Lego. It's a little stick like that that I just cut and uh, put in there and it works perfectly. So uh, that's a very important part of the, the whole system. Uh, yeah, the biggest, uh, biggest thing that was a big problem to solve it was this here. So this thing does two things. It both pushes on that to assemble the Lego, uh, the Lego bricks by pushing real hard on this. So it goes that this way. And then the other way, it's a very subtle little movement because I need to be able to hold this while this is going up so that it kind of does a little disassemble movement here. And uh, that, uh, that movement is, needs this to move a little bit but at the same time push it. So what I have is I have a little rubbery Lego part here and this thing is on this swivel arm. And uh, so what happened is as this thing turns, so the, 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 the first movement is just a brute force go down, bam, okay. And the second one, it goes, this pin here goes against that. And when it does that, as you can see, the bottom of this stick is going to hit this. And then it goes exactly where I want it. And when it's there, when this thing goes up, it's going to disassemble the Lego. So this thing here, so you see when it goes up, so this makes it go up. So I'm going to disassemble it so that you can see it. Uh, being disassembled. Whoops, wait a second. Okay, here we go. So now it's disassembled. So this goes up, the servo is engaged, the servo disengaged, now it just does the disassembly move. The servo re-engaged, that's the up movement. So that's the two movements for this pair in the back. So now I have to do this part here where it does the right thing in sequence. So I might have to do some tweaking, uh, so I might have to play a little bit with my adjustment. This is why this is those screws are in the track here, so I can move this as ever slightly in the front, or I could put something here so that when this thing goes back, it uh, goes exactly at the distance that I want it to go. So the next uh, step is uh, I build this leg here. It's going to replace uh, this part here because it's kind of wobbly. And uh, I'm only going to use it once I'm done proving that the whole system works because I might need those parts. I'm running out of screws actually. So I <laughs> barely, I basically used everything that was given to me by the little uh, British robot company. So I'm going to test the new movement. And after that, I'm going to probably do some uh, uh, tweaking and refactoring this tower is much higher than it needs to be so I might have I might uh, rebuild that 
And the uh, last thing is a durability test. I'm going to make sure that this thing can actually run for a little bit of time without uh, breaking itself. And uh, I think that's it. Another big thanks to the, uh, the little uh, the British robot company uh, for uh, giving me uh, all those parts to be able to uh, build this. So uh, thank you again and uh, I'll come back to you guys with another update pretty soon. So, um, so that's it. I'm just going to show this again. So, so you see it's a very simple little thing.